Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And listen friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Friends, today, if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 1, and let's look at verse number 7 together. Now notice what the Bible says here. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And friends, I pray that God would certainly add his great blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word on this beautiful day. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen, friends. There's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good fresh hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Well, friends, today I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, The Fear of the Lord. You know, my friends, when you read in the Bible about having a fear of the Lord, it means to respect Him greatly with the awareness that God governs all creation and is absolutely righteous. Having this awesome understanding of his sovereignty and reverence for his character produces humility and obedience. God never intended for you to be afraid of him. My friend, on the contrary, God loves you and provides what's best for you. However, he does expect you to obey his instructions. You see, fears will arise that prevent you from doing as he asks, proclaiming the gospel, reaching out to those in need, and submitting to his will. But the fear of the Lord, your respect for him, should motivate you to obey him anyway. So listen, friends, today, no matter what he calls you to do, do it, even if you're afraid. Allow your reverence for him to overcome your earthly anxieties. Make a decision that you're going to believe your loving God, who is always available to you and is in control of your life at all times. Think about this, and now let us pray together. Lord, Help us overcome our earthly fears and trust in you completely. Help us obey you in every step of the way. You know the path that you're leading us on. And help us take that path and go your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Well, friends, I pray the devotion's been a blessing to you today. And if it has, you bless someone by sharing it with them, remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus 
in what you say and in what you do. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in and have a wonderful and a blessed day.